Do I gotta put the headphones on? I mean, not really. We ain't gonna. I ain't. We ain't gonna. I know y'all don't wanna watch no freestyles. We ain't gonna watch no freestyles. <laughs> oh, we can watch some freestyles. Them be tripping on that book. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't give a f Go ahead. All right. Ready in five, four, three, two. It's the Danny Brown Show. Sit back, relax your eye. Ready now. Why you make student yells? It's the Danny Brown Show. We about to get live. Let's go. Let's go. It's the Danny Brown Show. Sit back, relax your eye. Ready now. Why you make student yells? It's the Danny Brown Show. We about to get live. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, 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 what's up, doe? It's the Danny Brown Show coming to y'all live from Wild Mate Studios here in beautiful Austin, Texas. I got the booth boys with me. How y'all fellas doing? Great, Danny. What's up, man? Hey, Danny. I'm tired than a motherfucker, man. Are mm -hmm. you? Yeah, I had a fucking long ass um, photo shoot yesterday um, for Carhartt. Cool. They had me running around. I went to a motherfucking um, a skating rink in this motherfucker. What? what the I hell? think I saw you post something about that. Yeah, it was dope. I I mean, you know, I used to skate when I was a kid. I, they ain't they ain't want me to get on those skates because they like we ain't got no insurance for your dumb ass. <laughs> 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 so they wouldn't let me skate. But I used to skate every weekend when I was a kid. That was like our thing. Cause you know, you're a teenager. That was like the only shit you can go like fuck with girls and shit. You yeah, know, we so used to do that too. They used, used to like to overnight lock-ins. It was crazy cause how many fucking um grown motherfuckers was out there. It was just like full adults, like couples and shit. Like motherfucker had their own headphones on, like, damn, this show hobby. So much shit to do in Texas, man. Your ass is skating on a fucking Thursday night, like just kicking it. All right, man. I got my boy in the house. I got motherfucking the Wobster Q Wop, yeah. man. Schoolboy Q, in this man. You hear what I mean? Blue Lips is out right hell now, yeah. man. Hell Go yeah. get that shit, man. Hell yeah. I've been spinning it ever since it came out. You know, you my boy, though. Oh, come on, man. I've been listening to come your on, shit. Man. We we started together, kind of. Come you know on, what I'm saying? you 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 my brother. I will say that this one. Um, I kind of feel like it, it is my favorite one. I, I mean, of course, you know I love blank face, blank faces, because you've yeah, sat with it for so long. But I think with this one, what I like so much, because you sound like you're happy, man. Yeah. It sound like you yeah. didn't really give a fuck about nothing. You just trying to just make, the, and it sound like you got a chip on your shoulder, man. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> you was trying I to rap on niggas like y'all niggas forgot. Y'all must have forgot what a nigga do, man. I do, man. That was the you know I felt like, bro, like people always like tried to like robbing me like you know batman robbing me like but like um and like would discredit me like for the things that i accomplished mm -hmm. so i'm like all right since y'all don't give a fuck about the shit i accomplished mm -hmm. y'all got me fucked up i'm going in and then it was just that you know i just made this album blue lips and and yeah. i know your ass took forever with this motherfucker too you got fucking yeah. three thousand songs and shit yeah, i don't know how your ass could fucking do that shit man i mean the hard part with me would be if i had that many fucking songs i wouldn't know what the fuck to pick i would just be so conflicted with like fuck did i you know and i, I know you got some shit you probably like man i wish i would put this out there i wish i would that shit. are you gonna use that shit in the future though um i'm pretty sure i'm gonna use like some parts of the verses because i'm not the song but i always use like verses and shit because i was with alchemist ass um and he was like, man, they done changed the album up like three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm still, you know, hope I get my shit on there. But you always got to fuck with Al, man. Man, that's my brother, that's dude. It's goal, like, man. it's like I can't, I don't think I can ever make another album without him. Did you make? I made Crash Talk oh, without him. Oh, you wasn't Crash Talk. You know? But I feel like he was on everything else, though, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all got that. some of the illest shit, man. Yeah, I love that, dude. Congrats man. to you, too. You yeah, know man. You're killing it, bro. I'm finally sober. I was just but... listening to Tanter. That shit is so hard. That was Al. Yeah, uh, that was Al? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> makes sense. We had to get the... We had to get makes the, sense. We had to get the sample replayed, though. Oh, yeah. That, man, they did me like that, too. They made me do all type of shit for this sample. They made me fucking write some traditional Japanese shit. I'm like, what the fuck? What you mean? <laughs> like, they meant that. I don't... Exactly. What the fuck you mean? That's what I was saying. Like... How come I can't just do the shit, give you the percentage, and keep it going? They, like, wanted me to do all type of shit. It's like, damn, y'all, like, trying to, like, they just want you to do shit. So did you get, you got, you replayed it, or you kept the sample? No, we kept the sample. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was but like, fuck that. Now we, they, like, want, like, every dollar from that. Well, I'm like, yeah, no, that shit like, killed me. Yeah. Fucking, um, with Dip, uh, Jay-Z and Kanye killed my ass. They own that whole motherfucker. <laughs> that was, like, one of my biggest songs. I don't get shit from that motherfucker. I'll never use a nigga hook again, man. I learned my lesson, man. Real, bro. Yeah, Skyler be mad at me to this day. Like, man, that was one of the biggest ones, man. We fucked up. Because, you know, he made that beat. Yeah, we don't get shit from that $300 motherfucker. $300 for that motherfucker. You get a can of sodas. So what you do different with this? Because I know every album, 
I mean, we still learning and shit too. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? So with every album, the process change. I guess with your ass shit, recording that many fucking songs, you ain't never recorded that many songs for no fucking. Anything, nah, right? nah. But I feel like um, it's like an asterisk between my five years. Uh, really, it didn't really hit five years. It's like one more money would hit five, but mm -hmm. still five. But I feel like it's an asterisk because like COVID times. Yeah, you started around then. Oh, you, yeah, you started yeah I started then? 2019 on, on this album. Like on on the Crash Talk tour, I started this album. But like once uh, the pandemic came, um, I had to sit down pretty much and be in the house and like be with my family mm -hmm. low key. So um, though I was working, I wouldn't say I was like really focused working. It was more so just going to the studio. But I had to get back home and just. I don't know. That was just a time, you know. If you had a family and shit, hell yeah, you it was a, you, you it was a lot of looking in the mirror type shit, like you know what I mean. And I had to get right with the family, so my dumb ass yeah. was alone. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's tough. I was going through it. <laughs> that's I, tough. That's why my dumb ass had to go to rehab. I was in that bitch getting drunk. went to rehab get and COVID drunk. is crazy. <laughs> no, I, not not in COVID, but I'm saying that's when shit ramped up. Oh, you know yeah, your man used to crazy. be shaded. Yeah, yeah, but, nah, but, you was the most shaded of all shaded. And you know the dumb part too about that whole shit too is that you got to think, man. Y'all niggas was like in y'all twenties and shit. Yeah, yeah. I was already, I was already in my thirties, just running around. I was like, how this nigga doing this shit, man? I couldn't I, believe it, I bro. Was I seen you running down the street one time. I'm just like, bro, what's up, what's up? I'm saying, I get off the bus and we just sitting there. You know, you get off the bus just to get some air, chilling. Me, I think me, Rocky, and somebody. Was talking and like Nas or something talking and we just see your dumb ass running down the street. <laughs> I'm like, what is he doing with them big dumb with them big ass boots? So you 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 like taking the steps like this. Like how high you gonna lift his fucking knee to run in the motherfuckers? Was that um Ohio? I think I was trying to I think up. it was Ohio. I, I was it was Ohio. That's that time me and Mac me and Mac had took the like mushrooms. Cincinnati, yeah, right? No, it was Cleveland. Cleveland? I remember cause that's the time me and Mac had yeah, took like, the what mushrooms. Is, what is Cud doing? You running like and it's a stoplight, right? Right there, and I just remember yo the silly ass just running with the boots. I'm like, oh, <laughs> no, I was God. tripping on mushrooms. <laughs> and, uh, no, what happened was uh, we had uh, cause you know we ain't know how to do mushrooms back then. Yeah, we ain't know yeah. the fucking shit, and they was all we. Because we had those girls with us, and they was like, we want to do something. We ain't had nothing for the bitches. And I was like, man, I think we got some mushrooms somewhere in this bitch. And we end up looking around in the back room and shit, and we had lifted up the couch, and the bitch was inside the couch. But they have been in there for so long, they was all crumbled <laughs> up and just, it was dust. It was like mushroom dust. That's when Mac was staring at his hand and shit. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, he, he was in the doing, bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> he was staring at his hand and shit. So we had dipped the strawberry and twisted it into the dust and ate the strawberries and shit. And the bitch that I was, the bitches that I had, one of them had started tripping and she had, had um, ran out the hotel room barefoot and just ran into the, I, we ain't never find a bitch either. That's why I was running. I was looking for the bitch because I ain't want no police or nothing to come and be like, man, this nigga got this bitch running around barefoot, man. What the fuck going on? So Motherfuckers had a Ninja Turtle potion. Yeah. Y'all put the strawberry under the crack of the... Uh. Yeah, that shit was the dumbest shit. Because because at that point, Bro, you don't know how many shit. mushrooms you eating. Oh you ain't know what the God. fuck you did. That shit could have been grams on grams, man. Who fuck knows, man? <laughs> that shit was fucked up. One thing I do love that you did with this album, man, you um, put AZ Chike on. Yeah. yeah, that was fire. How yeah. you just gave him his own shit, man. Let that nigga eat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. always putting on though, man. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I try to. It's mm -hmm. like you gotta have somebody that's like, you know what I mean? Or put a legend on. Yeah. Either put you a legend OG on. OG status none, yeah, you know. But you point, usually yeah. always do have like OG homies on yeah, there. Yeah, like I think this the first one Sugar you ain't. Free. Yeah, it's the first yeah. one you ain't do that. And so it was dope yeah, yeah, that you put like, a younger nigga on, yeah. man. You know. Um, gotta give you know. Credit where credit is due. That shit bang. It's like like a L.A. That song gonna be a L.A. staple. Yeah, yeah. It's already like in L.A. right now going nuts. Like that's all you hear about hearing people talking about. That's all they talk about on the album really in L.A. They don't give a fuck about all that artsy shit. <laughs> they want that. They want to play, play movie, play movie. I mean, that was sweet that you did that though. <laughs> that was the smartest way to do that shit no, though. You know what sure, I'm saying? For sure, for sure. We know your ass, um... And golfing and shit. I, I, I mean, you know, golfing is a lot of patience and shit. And your ass, and you gotta have the chili. That's a motherfucking rich man sport, man. Ain't nobody oh fucking God. golfing, man. Broke. You know, there's what a I'm lot saying? of broke motherfuckers play golf. Really? I mean, I, I, I've seen how much those fucking um country club fees and shit and all that shit. Yeah, man. but you, that's the thing. You don't have to have a country club membership. Mm -hmm. Like, I want that to like get. I want that stigma to get away from golf too. Like, it's a rich man sport because it's really not. You believe it or not, it's more people broke playing golf than mm -hmm. it is rich. 
You know, but they the, they only show you the country club side of it. Yeah, because I've you know seen like saying? some crazy prices for them nah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah, what? yeah. Nigga, so much nigga. I feel like they got so much QB pants. Yeah, this yeah. nigga tripping. <laughs> no, nah, but it's like, all right, and even then, right? That's a club. All these people in the world, that club has eight hundred members. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So it's not like it's a real small percentage, but that's what they like to show because it's like, yeah, you know what I mean, like. A lot of successful motherfuckers do play golf, so they do like to have that. Because it is image. like a relaxing shit, though. Like yeah, you gotta yeah, think yeah. And all that shit, though. But golfers don't make no money like that. Did like, you um, like, like at all? Like, do you be coming up with bars and shit when you be golfing? That shit. Or yeah, you don't be thinking about that God, shit because that shit seems like some patient shit. So you just sitting there thinking and shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for the most part, you're thinking about golf, but every now and then, like a line to come up, mm-hmm. like, and then you know, you just write the line down. Is it like because you moving. you see a lot of um. Older people golfing. So is it like, I mean, because you got to think Tiger Woods was young as hell killing shit. Yeah, yeah. So it, it is like a peak in golf. Like, like you know how basketball, you only yeah, going to yeah. last for a certain amount of time. Like, your body going to start. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You can't be fucking 50. I mean, them niggas be old, though, don't Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. Once you, I mean, the older you get, the better you get. Yeah. Though, but because I'm saying, you don't swing as hard. Oh, okay. But, I mean, somebody at that level, like Tiger level, you know, that's like pro level. He's swinging harder. He's Cause he, doing I like, mean, well, he had a lot of like, problems, though. Like, yeah, yeah. Text he, messages he, and all that shit. You know what I mean? But I, I just <laughs> feel like. My boy, he was off that good pack, too. You know yeah, what he mean? was freaky. Tiger, yeah, freaky yeah, yeah. motherfucker, man. <laughs> I watched the documentary. His nigga daddy was taking him to shit, fucking bitches in a trailer. That nigga was tripping, man. They, do they test for PEDs in golf? Um, I don't, I don't think so. Cause somebody would have got caught. They I don't let, remember nobody getting caught. I mean, people think golf is like such a boring sport, man. They should just let them niggas just get Bro, juiced up in that motherfucker. On the real, I think they are probably juiced. Cause up. that should be lit. Niggas be Roy raging, flipping the golf cart over, snatching yeah. their shirts off, <laughs> cussing out motherfuckers. That would be. I would, I love that golf. Everybody be like Happy Gilmore on that motherfucker, man. Nah, golf is it, man. I mean, you know. It's it's a lot of young motherfuckers play golf too, way more than you think. But your ass always been in the sports shit, man. Yeah, that's my whole thing. Anything sports, football, basketball, football, baseball. Yo ass used to sleep with a football on the tour bus. Yeah, yeah. nigga, it's over. (laughs) This nigga be cuddling the football and shit. I'm like, man, this nigga having hoop dreams, man. This shit is over with, man. You rap now, bro. It's over. (laughs) We on tour. (laughs) I still think I'm gonna go. Somebody gonna call, bro. Somebody gonna call. Go D one or something. 30 years old. I'm Fuck. hot at y'all niggas this year, man. Oh, Fucking 49ers, God, man. Oh, yeah, we had to get y'all out of there. Yeah, man. I already know you was talking shit to me in your head. I just <laughs> no, felt no. it, man. <laughs> nah, like, nah, Fuck the Detroit. Nah, we ain't, you got to think Detroit ain't, we ain't, the Lions ain't did shit, man. I was in Vegas that day, too. I, I put my money down. After that first half, I was already looking for watches and shit. I was like, oh, it's lit. That yeah. shit, I was, I was crying in the casino, man. I, I smoked mean. a cigarette that day. <laughs> That shit made me go down to the motherfucking lobby. I mean, you know the casino. I was in that motherfucker, man. That shit had me. That shit hurt my feelings. Imagine how I felt, motherfucker. But shit. I mean, at least y'all made it to the Super. Bowl. I mean, the Forty Nine ers tired of making it to the Super Bowl. We done did that three times. Forty Nine ers win all the we time. We done turned man. to the fucking uh, Bills now. Y'all might as well let us have that one at that point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Low key. If we was gonna do that, it would have been great for the city. You know? Yeah. You shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets to your next big event. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. With killer last-minute deals, all-in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee. Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. I know sometimes, man, we want to go out and we want to see some things, man. But they sell out so fast, man. But with Game Time, you can always be sure you'll be able to get some tickets. So save up to 60% off when you're buying last minute for sports, concerts, comedy, theater, and more. Save even more with exclusive in-app deals on select seats ahead of the game or event. And save even more when you choose a section and let Game Time choose the seats. By using Game Time all-in pricing feature, you can see the total up front with no surprise fees at checkout. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code DANNYB for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code D-A-N-N-Y-B for $20 off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. An action pack fight card is taking over Las Vegas for UFC 300. And DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of USC is giving new customers a shot to turn five bucks into $150 instantly in bonus bets with any UFC 300 bet. It's nothing like watching the UFC, getting all your friends together, throwing a fight party, 
you know, everybody got drinks flowing, you know, laughs, having a great time, and you'll be able to watch your favorite fighters and also you can make some money. And I know you're going to be spending money on that fight party, so you might as well be able to try to make some of that back, if you know what I'm saying. It's nothing like being able to root for your favorite fighters, having a good time watching UFC, and making some money while doing it. So go ahead and download DraftKings, man. It's a great way for you to have some fun and root for your favorite fighters. And definitely, man, get that money. Download DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code DANNYB. New customers can bet 5 bucks to get $150 instantly in bonus bets only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code Danny B. The crown is yours. All right, man, we're jumping to some of these Zach's Danny's, man. You can always hit me up at Danny at the Danny Brown Show.com. That's Danny at the Danny Brown Show.com. First up, we got foreign conflicts. Ask Danny. Hey, Danny, I need your advice. I have a kid in another country and her mom. The kid and the mom in another country? All right. She's a controlling bitch, wants me to move there full time instead of visiting twice a year. She doesn't want our child to come home to the States. I have no problem with that because I know how it go with a father. But the issues is that I've been with my girl now for three years and it's the happiest I've been with anyone ever. I know if I left, she would be devastated because I was her first everything. Should I chalk it up and lose a good relationship or should I say no and face the music? Your boy, Jordan. And we know my nigga Q's great father right here, man. We already know his answer. Fuck that bitch. You got to go get the kids, man. I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean, but at the same time, shit, you got you a new bitch. Shit, just take care of the kids with the bitch. I mean, shit. Or just like, like, why are you asking the question? You a grown-ass <laughs> fucking man. The fuck you calling in to ask Danny Brown, a, a recovering fucking addict, about your fucking life, you fucking idiot? You are a fucking idiot. Why are you asking this man for advice? Yeah. I like, am. motherfucker, do what do what's best for you, motherfucker. <laughs> God damn, you idiot. Hey, you know. I hope that shit don't work out now. You fucking stupid. How old is Joy now? Uh, 14. She'll oh, be 15 uh, April. Killing it with soccer? Yeah, still killing it. She'll be. She just like your ass, man. You yeah, had yeah. Her Hopefully shit. she ain't, you know, cuddling the soccer ball to somewhere. I mean, shit, you better hope so. Soccer and female soccer players make fucking money. My daughter, 23 now, man. She! Uh, old as hell, man. Yeah, that's crazy. She run around doing photography and shit, you That's know? crazy. 23. Yeah. Damn, you old as shit. <laughs> I'm 42, hey, nigga. No, nah, we used to call you old all the time, yeah. and now I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not too far from you now. Yeah, we used to be on your ass. You old, you old, you old. <laughs> I know. I remember one time. This is the funniest shit ever. I remember one time when I was really wilding, just wilding out and shit, just being all fucked up and shit. Your ass was like, man, you need to have a kid or something. Man. <laughs> like that should have calmed you down. Like you need some discipline, man. You need to have another baby, man. I'm like, man, I ain't having no motherfucking kids, man. I did that shit. <laughs> My daughter cool though, man. She That's come out up. here. She That's come out here up. every like you know for like Fourth of July, but she don't like it out here, man. It's too hot. Yeah, I mean, you know, coming from Michigan, man, you know, this Texas weather is different. Yeah. I mean, L.A. That's why L.A. is the perfect place where everybody yeah. love it out there, y'all. It don't get too hot, and it never really gets too fucking cold, even though the rain and shit. That yeah. shit is fucking horrible. It get man. humid out here though. That's what I'm like saying. That. It was. I don't a, it like was, that. It was over a hundred. Like for like a month straight last yeah, year, and they saying it. this summer supposed to be worse. Dang I'm talking it. about you can't even go outside. That ain't it. No. All right. Next up, we got friend. But yeah, cuz dumb hitting me up, <laughs> asking me about anything with kids. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm a dog. I now I got me chihuahuas. Oh shit, bro! You got you got rid of the cats? Yeah, man. The bitch took them. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I lost them in a divorce, man. You know, <laughs> take the cats. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. what I told you. I was alone during COVID. The bitch Damn. left and took the cats. <laughs> I was in that motherfucker looking at the walls, man. Like, what the fuck? But I'm good now, man. I got my new, you know, I'm with my, you know, yeah, my lady yeah, down, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. one good, woman, good, man. Good, I'll, good, I'll be good, fucking good. with these bitches no more. Good, good, good. Because, I good. mean, you know, once you don't, know, like, like, you was like, damn, you don't smoke weed no more, man. All that shit go away. Because, yeah. you, you know, all that shit came from drugs, man. Fucking with bitches and being drunk and doing all that shit, man. Now I can't even, I'm a two pump chump. I couldn't even do all that crazy <laughs> shit I used to be doing, man. Adderall and all that shit, man, you know. I'm, I'm weak as hell now, man. I'm, oh, I'm really old now at this point. You know, I got, I had the, the parties over. God damn, bitch, don't touch me. Bitch. Yeah, I got, a, I had the parties over for me, man. I'm really boring as hell. Like even going on tour and shit, man. I don't do shit, man. I literally be fucking. I'm playing shit, video games and shit, man. More, you know? I, that's my biggest regret. What? Not ever. As many places as we traveled, we done seen each other in places overseas, everywhere, mm -hmm. and we done traveled the world together. 
Bro, you know, I never seen nothing my whole career. No. I was too busy getting high. Yeah, same thing. And people don't understand that. Like, bro, I've been everywhere. They're like, well, it's such and such. Like, I'm like, bro, I was in the hotel room and I was high <laughs> as a motherfucker. <laughs> like, I have no idea what so such and such. Now you want to see some shit Yeah, now? yeah. So I'm interested to go back out on tour because I feel like this is about to be my first time. Really, you know. Yeah. Seeing yeah. the sights and shit, man. No, this last one, yeah. I, I tried. I did a little bit, but. After a while, man, just be like, fuck that shit. I'm tired, man. I'm yeah. old, man. I can't even, yeah, you know. I feel you. And then sometimes that shit be boring. You be like, all right, I seen that shit, man. Yeah. It's just whatever. All right, next up, we got friend to foe. What up, Danny? I recently had a falling out with a childhood friend. Him and his girl invited me to go bowling with him. I rode with them and I drank too much, blacked out, and was acting a damn fool. You sound like me. <laughs> he was drinking. He was drinking too, so he was extra pissed. We head home, we talking shit. And I said, what's up? You want to throw hands? When we got back to the spot, we face off. He hit me in the face. I get him to the ground. I try to walk away, but he continues to walk me down and start swinging. So I end up breaking his nose. His girl at that point left and stayed at the motel. She calls me telling me to get out of there because she said he has a gun load and you ready to shoot me. Damn, he's going to blam your ass. Next day, he said he's done with me. I thought it was a fight and we could have hugged it out on some brother shit, but that's not the case. I've known him since we were seven. Anything I can do. To make things cool with us. Thanks, Danny. Love you. Shouts out to RJ. I mean, everybody have a fight with their homie, though, you know? I mean, that's the point of being homies. If you can fight and still be friends and shit, you know? That means y'all really love each other. That nigga don't give a fuck about you, then. You ain't blazing me in front of my bitch. <laughs> you ain't blazing me in front of my that's bitch. He, he had to grab far. the burner. He like, and then he grabbed the burner. You, he broke his <laughs> nose. Yeah, yeah, like, bro, like, you broke my nose in front of my bitch. I got to do you in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talking? <laughs> they ain't about to beat me up in front of my bitch. Hell no, nah, we'll never be friends. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, and you got drunk, and you was the one that's tripping? Mm-hmm. So, you got drunk, you started it, you was tripping. No, the one, the, the one... That got blacked out. That was the he wasn't the one with the girl. The other. That's one what I'm the, saying. Yeah. So the dude you blacked out, tripped out on me, mm-hmm. broke my nose in front of my girl. Oh yeah, you. And now you ass. think we supposed to be cool? Oh, you yeah. got faded and all that, bro. I'm supposed to do you, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I guess you're right. You right in the neck, bitch. That did that does change the uh, scenario. Yeah, a little bit. like the you could have waited till the bitch was in the room or something. You beat me up in front of my. Because that's why he you said. He, that's why he said he got him. He knocked him down or whatever. Then the nigga still tried to run back up because his bitch was there. He can't <laughs> yeah. look like a bitch in front of his bitch. He like. Nigga, hold up, man. And then he grabbed a burn on his bitch run ass. My, I, I, I'm a bl- he probably still gonna, <laughs> you better watch out. He probably still going to blame your ass. He can't be looking like a bitch in front of his bitch, man. Oh, God. Got me fucked up. I'm too old for that shit, man. I hurt myself just walking around, so <laughs> I ain't trying to get no scuffles. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I guess that did change the scenario. That's that drunk shit, though. No, nah, for sure. Being drunk, man. Yo ass. That's a um, smack was just here. He was like, man, Q, stop drinking, man. That nigga seemed way happier. Yeah. Fuck that. I look better, feel better. Yeah. Like, you Yo drunk, ass you always just... been a working out motherfucker, though. Nah, that too. Yeah. I've always been yeah. working out. But I mean, once you qu- eliminate all the other shit, the mm-hmm. working out actually works out. <laughs> yeah. I guess you're right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like, like, you know, my heart was... At a good rate, but I never fully was like, you know, where I, I should have been. I never realized how much calories that shit was. Yeah. Like in the one bottle of like fucking tequila and shit. Like, I mean, the tequila is like the, the, the worst, I mean, the less one, but like some Hennessy or some shit. Like that yeah. shit got so much sugar and shit in there. That's but you never will get super fat though. Me? You got fat I, one time I get that with belly. the lean. I with get the lean. with the lean. I was, I was fucked up. Yeah, uh, he, he was wearing. ugly. I remember, I remember going to Detroit one time, going downstairs. You had the cat. I'm allergic to cats. You sipping lean out of root beer or something. Oh, this motherfucker ugly, homie. He was in that motherfucker ugly. I'm like smoking cigarettes in that motherfucker. I'm like, I got might have to get the fuck up out of here. Hang on. <laughs> I was I drove up. like I drove like a whole hour to yep. get to your house. I'm like, man, I'm cool on Stanny right now. <laughs> man, this motherfucker grimy, homie. I, was, <laughs> I remember that shit. <laughs> I'm like this big ass cat. Cat this big. <laughs> man, I ain't got time for cut right now. I gotta go get I was some, I'm gonna get some sweet water right quick. Oh yeah, man. Sweet water burnt up. Uh, it's over. I mean, I think it's back now. But everybody, every time I see people, they be like, "Man, it ain't what it was." Oh. I mean, I don't know. I haven't had it in a long time. But yeah. it had. I think it. They, I think they did an insurance job on that motherfucker. To be honest, <laughs> You're like shit. Let me get my. That shit happened during COVID. Fatty. Yeah, yeah that shit happened during COVID and shit. Y'all talking about? Because I was living right. Um, I moved from that house and I was living down. I was living right around the corner from there. Oh, okay. I was. I moved. Had moved downtown and shit because it was right by the studio and shit. So, 
Yeah. I ain't want to be in that house by myself, man. Yeah, hell that no. That shit was depressing, no. man. You I was depressed when I came <laughs> over and I was with you. That motherfucker got the studio in the basement. Like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> so, like, you got to look up like this to see something. Yeah. It was like, then you had like a little window, right? Yeah. Where you can see like some shit. And it ain't nothing but deer and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, cool. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> Michigan, man. Jeepers creepers and shit. That is a different shit. Cali ain't really got basements like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, that shit tripped me out. Like, bro, what's up? What up? <laughs> Under the stairs, you know what I mean? I had carpet in the basement. Uh, no. Only nigga with carpet in the basement, man, like an animal, man. Did smoking cigarettes, shit banging down there. You don't smoke cigarettes, you like, nigga, you down here tripping, man. You don't even know how much, man, I used to be depressed in that basement, man. man Fucking I'm killing seeing. myself, not even really realizing what the fuck a nigga doing, you know what I'm saying? You know, you walk in a room and you just get dizzy instantly. Mm -hmm. It was one of those, like, <laughs> like, like, oh, cuz, smoking this motherfucker. <laughs> it was like some crackhead shit, man. Like, this nigga really owns some crackhead. I was in my crackhead arc. And I was just taking Adderalls like crazy back then, man. And just, man, I, I wasn't at my best, man. I, I was well, saying, man. I, we, both, we both been there. Yeah, but I think we you you figured there. it out a little earlier than yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah think, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, think, <laughs> I, think, I, I think you own that. You and, got that title. Yeah, just because sure. I was older and shit, too. I think yeah. that's what it was, too, because I started so late, man. You know, I, I was like, man, you know. You know, nigga, I mean, you get in your 20s and shit. You want to party and shit and have a good time and yeah. shit. But imagine your whole 20s, you ain't doing shit. You just broke yeah, around yeah, that. But yeah. by the time I get by 30, I'm just like a, like a cage animal finally yeah. got out. Like, nigga, I'm doing everything I wanted to do. I'm wilding out. And that shit just got too far, man. It just really went on for too long, man. Yeah. But shit, I'm good now, man. I'm happy. That's good. I mean, you look, well, you look a, a thousand times better. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't the basement, Daniel. More, this is like basement. a real Stanny. This is a real Stanny. I'm Daniel now. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. fucking Daniel. All that shit is gone. That's good. That's good. What are some duos who got it done? Key and Peel, Salt and Pepper, UGK. What about the perfect duo when it comes to growing your business? That's you and Shopify. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business, from the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage all the way to the did we just hit a million order stage. Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system. Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify has got you covered. Shopify is the best for up and coming businesses because you can just set up online, sell your stuff, man. It's so easy to set up shop. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S., and Shopify is the global force behind all birds in Brooklyn and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Sign up for $1 per month trial period at Shopify.com slash Danny B, all lowercase. Go to Shopify.com slash Danny B now to grow your business. No matter what stage you're in, Shopify.com slash Danny B. All right, man, we got the man don't quit. Hey, Danny, I'm here in Metro Detroit, and I'm in a happy relationship with my mixed girl. Her mom is white and dad is black. Pretty much every time we go down river to see her dad, he always doing some small things to test me, I think. Things like doing shots with him or doing pull-ups and push-ups. So far, it hasn't been anything crazy, so I always do ask myself, why is this guy trying to impress me? But I'm afraid he's going to have me doing wild hood shit at one point. He still lives a street life and has been to prison. Got any advice? Should I be worried? Keep up the good work, man. Levi, stay away from this motherfucking ass. I don't fuck with um, like girl got crazy daddy, man. I'm I ain't tripping on that, man. So wait, is he white or something? Well, he probably he sound mad racist. I mean, so wait, he's with the dad. Oh yeah, like, I guess you right. I like, guess what do you mean right. the dad? What the dad probably said, "What's up?" and walked dad into the room, the yeah. next room, and now all of a sudden he think he got a, a, a beef with the dad. You gonna be like that with Joy? Press <laughs> Hell no! Nah, I'm super cool. I'm one of them dads that's like, I'm not like. I hope she like dating all that shit in mm -hmm. high school. You know what I mean? And, and like. I wanted to smoke weed at least once in nah, high school. I mean, like, I mean, you gotta. I guess you gotta. So I can like, like, uh, you know, attack the situation in the proper way. So when she go to college, she already understand what's going on. You know, I'm not gonna give her no weed or like give her no alcohol or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. But I would love for her to make a mistake like once, cause this girl's like damn near perfect, and I'm like, yeah. yo. Yeah, you got to like it's kind of scary that, now. That's kind of scary because you feel like once they fucking do something, they yeah, yeah, it could be way crazier. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm like waiting for that moment for her to slip up in something, 
but she hasn't slipped up in nothing, so I'm kind of nervous. I mean, her dad's school boy cute. That got to be some cool shit in school, uh, man. Hell no. Nah. Hell you don't fuck about me being school boy Q. She don't want to hear nothing I got to say, but then I catch her, like, you know what I mean, banging my shit, mm-hmm. you know, like, uh, she playing the bass now. I can hear her playing. Oh, that's dope. Learning how to play uh, songs from my album. I can hear it. You put her in a um, teacher and shit? She got a teacher? Nah. Her, um, oh, she's learning her mom? Her mom did. Her oh. mom just, she wanted to do it. And Damn, I'm that's like, crazy. Girl, I'm scared for her. That's I'm dope, like, though. Man, I'm scared. She too good at soccer, bro. Like, and you know this music shit. Once you in it, yeah. once you break that wall, mm-hmm. you never coming back. You yeah, never coming it's back. It's the way of expressing yourself, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I feel like everybody should learn how to play an instrument, though. That's just one Hell thing. Hell no. Nah. You ain't playing no we instruments got in school? Bullshit. Oh, your ass is playing the... football and shit. You yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't fucking no instruments. <laughs> My dumb nah. ass is playing the trumpet and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That band shit was cool until a nigga got to high school. He was like, oh, yeah, you in the band. Like, like, oh, this nigga oh, in the band. I stopped doing that shit. The bullshit outfit. I wish I would have known. Now that I'm grown, I wish I would have stayed into it, man. Like, fuck with these motherfuckers. You right? You probably have been making some bullshit. You would have been making, you wouldn't have been a Stanny Crown. You probably would have never touched the drug. Because I started rapping and shit, too. I mean, I was always rapping, but I wish I would. I kind of do, man. Just Or just more so study music, like learning about music theory and all that shit. And I'm glad I missed all that shit. Fuck that. I mean, it does help a little better, I feel like, just Hell not yeah. knowing certain shit, because then you start listening to them. You start being too fucking analytical and yeah. sciencey with Comes music and shit. Place like this, yeah. you don't know shit. They be like, oh, you you heard this? Like, I haven't heard But I, I've, I've still, like, you know, I listen to, like, um, audio books and shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to learn how to mix, man, just to even just get better to just knowing how to shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mixing is, like, yeah. that's, like, one of the most important things, man. Now, you know, yeah. that nigga been doing this shit for so long. Man, you don't know what a good mix or a bad mix. You just know shit. My, my vocal sound right, and shit. but I want to be <laughs> yeah. able to be like, yeah. be fucking hands on with that shit a little more. Yeah. All right, next up we got it's bachelor time, bitches. Dear Danny, I recently <laughs> broke up with my girl after three years. She's cool though and still want to be friends. I'm a pretty attractive black guy and I've always been dating a lot of other girls since the breakup. One of these girls I'm dating starting to get real close to. I feel bad about fucking around with all of them at one time, but I'm single for the first time in a while and have been enjoying the attention from women. I don't think I owe anyone any solid loyalty at the moment, but it does make me feel a little bad sometimes when I cancel one girl that don't that really likes me to see another girl. What do you think, man? Best J Rock. Shout out J Rock. No, man, you gotta be too. Right. You gotta fuck I don't know, man. I've I've been a wild boy in my time, man, but he complaining about bitches. Yeah. I mean, he did say he's a pretty attractive black guy, so that was a um, red flag. And he's single. Yeah. And man. he's complaining about yeah. having bitches. It, it, I mean, I've I've been a time where I had so many bitches, I was still lonely. I mean, I mean, yeah, but it's nothing like having that relationship, bitch, hold you down type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I realized the um, the valid. You know, I mean, you know, I realized the importance of that. You no, know? for sure, that's that's the thing. He didn't put his age in there. But for what I'm thinking, if a motherfucker typing in, he got to be a little younger. And, mm-hmm. and if you're crying about having bitches, you're definitely gay. It is. But it is hard, though, man. It is hard, man, when you got a lot of bitches and shit, man. That shit is stressful, man. That shit be kind of stressful, you, though. I, you know? You know, it's just been so much shit going on, man. I, that shit is it's not. I, it ain't for me no more. I definitely know nah, that, Nah, not man. for me either. I'm a, I'm a one-girl guy. But, like, I can't. Um, just to have that discipline, too, you know? Like, and it keeps you more focused on your shit, man. Them bitches, how you broke. No, for Fuck sure. Fuck with all them bitches, man. Sure. That shit, you will run through the chili, man. Fuck I mean, with but all them you bitches. Gotta, if you really got it like he say he got it, he popping it like he popping it. He going to constantly keep a bitch. But I think everybody needs to go through that. You these got everybody got to have a little player phase. At least That's what I'm saying. Life, like know? I don't like I, I said. I don't take advice from nobody that ain't never had no hoes. Yeah. You ain't never had no hoes. There's nothing you can tell me. It is true. There's nothing you can tell me. It is stressful though. I will say that. I've never been so lonely in my life than when I had too many bitches. <laughs> For uh, real, man. Because none of them, you just, it, it is what it is. You popping and bopping. It ain't nothing else. It ain't yeah, nothing else we can do. It's been over for me. And I'm, them bitches married, fucking. So it's over. That shit. <laughs> and you got to think, over. that's where a lot of motherfuckers' um, drug addiction start. These bitches yeah. get more fucked up than niggas, man. Yeah. Like, it's, bitch had you trying all type of shit, man. You in that room getting freaky, man. Doing bumps and shit. Niggas wouldn't been doing no fucking blow up. You wouldn't fucking with these white bitches. All right. We are jumping to some white people shit. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey basketball. White people shit. Hey, Danny, I love the show. I grew up in rural, south, southern Illinois near St. Louis. And what I thought 
was normal stuff until I moved to St. Louis. One of the fundraisers we had was donkey basketball. Basically, all it is is to score a basket, you have to be riding a donkey. If you weren't on a donkey, it don't count. I asked some of my friends in St. Louis who weren't white, and they haven't heard of it. They laughed at me. Look it up on YouTube. It's great. Thanks. Let me see this donkey basketball. That's just motherfuckers with too much. Oh, shit, man. I know that motherfucker stank. How much money do motherfuckers got? That's what I'm starting to figure out. Well, you just got a a, a gym full of donkeys. Motherfuckers stank enough just playing basketball. So imagine and the high school donkeys. basketball team is ass because there's no way they let donkeys, donkeys walk on the court. Yeah, they and, ain't won a game in 20 years. They like fuck it. Just do bring the donkeys. Yeah, in. bring the donkeys. <laughs> 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 we ain't want to fuck. We ain't see one banner on the wall. We got donkeys in that. Where are the banners at in that motherfucker? Nah. Y'all are <laughs> this ass. Nigga stupid. You get what I'm? No, that's my whole thing. You see how? That's how much of into sports I am. That high school don't send your kid to that. That motherfucker, if he's hey, good at sports, hey, no bad. Okay, they got, they oh, man, that's track. When they look like that, that's track. That's track. That ain't one fucking banner. That's track. They got a nasty track team. The donkey. I know. Look, look, they all over. Look, if you want to go to track, go there. I'd be scared one of them motherfuckers might randomly just take a shit on the court or some shit. Like you know. Yeah, no, nah, that's out. I mean, donkeys and the motherfuckers be kicking niggas and shit too, don't they? Yeah, this is like this random. Some rich I don't, I don't shit. fuck with um ride no animal, man. I don't even think that's cool. I ain't get yeah, no horses. Yeah, that shit out. Like no why? Camels? No, I ain't. I ain't sitting on no motherfucking horse. Yeah, like what the fuck I wanted to do with a horse? Like for what? Is cars? Cause this is not. That's what I'm saying. That slavery shit run deep. Like you motherfuckers really <laughs> still want to be slave owners. You, I got a horse. Like bitch, it's a whole car. <laughs> you can get a whole car. I mean, it ain't no black people in that motherfucker though. Of course not. Niggas ain't fucking with that. Ain't no dunk. banners on that on the basketball court. <laughs> Clearly, ain't no fucking uh, bad. black people go to that motherfucker. They have at least three banners. Fucking donkeys, though, man. The motherfucker stank, man. That nigga Bimo rode a donkey one time. Yeah. We were South by Southwest. It was some Mexican nigga selling donkey rides. This nigga took a picture on the donkey. That shit was funny as hell. I'm cool. Drunk as hell. <laughs> he got on a donkey and took a picture. All right, man. Fucking donkey basketball, man. Uh, that shit's weak. That shit is retarded. All right, we're jumping to some of these music questions, man. <laughs> what are your top five favorite artists or bands? Mine? Yeah, all time. All right, Stevie Wonder is one. I think he's the greatest songwriter of all time. You think Stevie can see? We were just talking about that recently, man. I think he can see a little bit. He I think he can see, like, colors. Like, uh, like if I'm, like, looking at you like this. Mm-hmm. I think he can see like that. Uh, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe that's, no, a, maybe that's of, offensive. That's been a theory. <laughs> maybe it's offensive, but I feel like he can see like that. No, it's been a theory going on for a minute. Motherfuckers keep everybody that meet him be like, no, that nigga can see. Um, <laughs> after that, <laughs> I got Nas. You know, Nas, my yeah. favorite rapper. Um, I'm I'm clearly Kendrick. Um, Jay Z. Um. Snoop and Pharrell. Pharrell? Snoop and Pharrell. I mean, that's like songwriters. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pharrell? I mean, uh, nerd. I just don't be looking at... Yeah, he, that motherfucker made that happy song. That motherfucker went crazy. Man, that dude is crazy. That shit is fucking He's crazy. Retarded, man. You don't fuck with Pharrell? Hey, I love Pharrell, man. Why I you th- say Pharrell like that? Because, I mean... I just don't think of him. I'm thinking of him more of as a producer, I guess. Uh, I, feel you know? you, I feel you. Then, uh, but I, I do got to realize he's made so many fucking classic songs on his own. You know. Yeah. He, like, he got that. I thought I, I was fucked up when I was just um, talking to her. I, I thought Pharrell was Filipino. He ain't Filipino. It's the other motherfucker that's Filipino. Chad, who you yeah, go? Yeah, so I was yeah. like, yeah, I'm riding with my Filipinos. But it turns out, nigga, Pharrell ain't even Filipino. I thought this nigga's Filipino all this goddamn time. <laughs> but you say, um, K dot, um, all right. I remember about 10 years ago, probably longer than that, and y'all was killing shit, and um, your ass used to always be like, man, fuck that. We ain't never doing no black hippie album. <laughs> we ever do that shit, that'd be like we falling off of some shit. Though. That'd be some bullshit, man. Now I have to be all over. You done, got, you done did all your accomplishments. You done, killed, you done did everything you wanted to do. Do you still feel the same way now? Hell yeah, fuck! I'm not making no black hippie. I album. mean, just for the I was because I was I was always with it because niggas were like we gonna have you on a couple. So I'm like hell yeah, put me on that motherfucker. Hell nah, I never do that shit. It was just it's for the a, culture. 
Fuck the culture. Ain't no culture. What is the culture? <laughs> what is the fucking rap culture? For the culture? fans. For the fans, man. Man. Because like, every song y'all made together has been fucking classic, man. Yeah, but. I would have, as me as a fan, I would have loved to see that, man. I think we all, like, kind of on our separate Yeah, of course. Right of now. course. Um, like, Dot is doing his own thing with PG Lang. I'm doing my own thing. Like, I'm, like, curating a new a new artist almost pretty oh. much. Oh shit, you on you on that level I'm, now? I'm curious. I'm like just like uh, I did that part already. Like you know, let's mm-hmm. you know, I gotta have the second part because I want to. I got like 18 more albums to make. <laughs> like Hell I'm yeah. dead serious. I ain't stopping either. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like I'm trying to figure out this this phase before I get to the third phase. So right now I'm in the second phase, and um, Abso, he's working. J Rock's working. I don't. I just don't see where we will ever have time. That shit just would have like, been cold, man. I just, as me as a fan of y'all niggas, man. I, really I appreciate wish it. it. I would have fucking it, happened, but man. Fuck that. <laughs> These niggas still that. feel the same I'm way, not, man. I'm not going in the studio with them motherfucker. We was in the stu- we was in the studio together for so long. If y'all would have did it, y'all would have been did it type yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we stayed in the studio sharing one mic for years. I think that's that motherfucker what, was banging. Yeah, I fucking think, with Ab Soul ass smoking them cigarettes. <laughs> I hit a couple seeds. <laughs> I hit a couple seeds. Fuck it, let me hit that. <laughs> well, niggas ain't had no weed. Who you got, though? Who your top five? My top five of all time? Uh, That's hard to say, though. Yeah, too. I know. Like, but, uh, and you did say band, so yeah, I didn't band, even like yeah. mention a lot of things I could have mentioned. Um, top five all time. I mean, of course, I've got Nas just like you. I'm going to have to have Wu-Tang. I'm going to just say rap. I'm going to have Nas, Wu-Tang, Mob Deep, Outkast, and MF Doom. Uh, I see. I left out Outcast. Yeah, like I, that's what I don't have a top five. For yeah, so I mean, because I, I can't, I can't put. Because then I can put a top five bands. I can yeah, go yeah, top yeah, five. Yeah, you know I what I'm saying? I, I think. Yeah, I don't think I can do it with everything. Because I, I, it's no way. I just left out Outcast, and they influenced me like a lot, 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 lot. Yeah, I mean, I feel and like, like I feel like all y'all niggas. Like yeah, like the whole but, TDE. All y'all niggas got no, some Outcast sure. influence in y'all shit. That was our whole. Yeah, yeah. That was our whole little thing, like to bite their ass. I think everybody. I think everybody. I, to be honest, I think everybody got a little outcast in them. On the real, you too, for sure. Yeah, for sure. definitely. Hell yeah. They made it comfortable for like us. Like we're like technically like for the street rappers. I'm like a weirdo. Like mm-hmm. you're like. Yeah. A, a, I'm just a, a weirdo, weirdo in general for rap, for rap. <laughs> in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just weirdo in real life. You know, we both weirdos. We both like in the weirdo category, and I'm fine with that, and I love it. No, that's what separates yeah, you from yeah, everybody because you yeah. like the. You're the only person that really make experimental gangster rap. Yeah. Like if it was like a subgenre of gangster rap and shit. And like with Blue Lips, that shit prove it. Like even way the the art direction, the fucking the way you did the visuals and shit. Like Thank you. Ain't no gangster rap beat. They they look at it as such like the lowest form of like rap. Like yeah, yeah. Are, it's like it's so disrespectful. These niggas like, just in the kitchen with a gun, shoot a yeah, video. Yeah, like no everybody mad. Everybody game bang mad. Like God, leave. So so it is good because you got to think about what's the what's the nigga that's um being influenced by you. Like what's that next shit gonna be like. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. now it's about that time. You got to think you've been over. It's been like ten years and shit. Yeah. It got to be some mother, some kid that was listening to you since he was like 16, i.e. in his 20s. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Still been in the street and shit, but still got more of an artistic approach to his music. So it's gonna be great to see, man. The, the influence is a schoolboy Q, man. So I give you props on that one. Thank but your ass, you you fucking blessed though, man. Because you had the top three shits that it take to um make a great rapper. I feel like you know. The you got three, what the fuck yeah, like? like like the easy like cheat codes. You got a fucking crazy voice, which is like the number one shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no, but that's why motherfuckers, some motherfuckers hate my ass. Like it's fucking voice. They don't even gonna listen past that shit. <laughs> you got an amazing voice, and then you ill with the hooks. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So then you ill with the hooks, and then you got the, like the aggressive shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like when a nigga can invoke that emotion, like how you did on Pop That. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. that's my favorite because that's like vintage schoolboy Q shit. Yeah, like, yeah, that's what yeah. make a nigga like you. Like you that's got that fucking grips though. You, you put me on Dev grips. Yeah. Get ball, get ball, get ball. <laughs> I literally that's literally Dev grips. Get ball, get ball, get ball, get no, ball, the Dev grips still like them niggas was just out here not too long ago. They so hard. Yeah, man. That motherfucker broke like twelve drumsticks, man. Shit, you man. put me on a lot of shit. Yeah. You put me on. Uh, I remember you was the first motherfucker put me on Young Thug. Yeah, I was listening to Young Thug early in the game. Yeah, you put me on Young Thug early. 
We ain't think that nigga's gonna do that though. Nah, I hell ain't. nah. That motherfucker <laughs> took off crazy. I didn't think he was gonna. I didn't, I didn't think he was gonna take off like that. Cause that I thought motherfucker's it, an icon. Cause I thought it was kind of too weird too. Cause he Me had too. like some weird shit in him where yeah, I felt like, yeah, man, the regular yeah, nigga yeah, ain't yeah. gonna get this shit. Cause you kind of kind of listen to the. Cause you wouldn't you wouldn't just listen like hearing Young Thug. You wouldn't be like, this nigga got bars. You really got to sit down and like nah, listen to that shit. Like, nah, that this, motherfucker took no, it. No, he rap. Out of all the people, he took it to the the the. the Thing it's kind of fucked up what he's going through too, man. He's been locked oh, up for man, a minute, man. Because I've know. been here almost three years, and I feel like that shit happened as soon as I got here, man. So, That's not, you know, man, yeah. Hey, man, he was wilding. I ain't. I mean, he was young thug, man. But I remember that name was just crazy to me. Like a nigga in this name, young thug. That's yeah, what made me listen thug. to the nigga. I got a nigga in Australia put me up on him. Damn. I was in Australia and it was just some um I was doing an interview with um, you know, them journalist niggas, they be knowing everything, man. Yeah. And the nigga was just like, Man, you ever heard of Young Thuck? <laughs> I mean, that wasn't a good Australian accent, but he was like, Man, yeah, that was not nice. yeah, awesome. Caribbean young shit. Young Thuck. I'm like, Young Thuck. And I remember just being at my career, I was like, What the what's the name that nigga said? Like Young Gangster. I was thinking it was some shit like Young G. And I was just typing that shit and that shit and it came up. And I was like, this nigga is because that's before he was really knowing how to use the auto tune shit. So he was just like singing bare bones, man. I'm like, this yeah. nigga is wild, man. man but I did but hard. I did kind of figure that it was like it was it had like a um what made me stick around, it had like a Jamaican influence too. Yeah. Like a dance hall vibe too. I'm like, this yeah. nigga, and he looked kinda like them niggas. I'm like, maybe this nigga yeah. on like some reggae he shit. He used to look grimy as a motherfucker. I'm like, maybe show me the videos. I'm like, this motherfucker look grimy, you know what I mean? Like Haitian, like or something. Yeah, like yeah, 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 like and that shit was crazy, man. So shouts out to Young Thug, man. Yeah, I hope you make out it out that shit. Man. Cause like I don't wish that shit on my worst enemy type nah. shit, man. But that shit is crazy, I ain't man. Built for jail. Who who is at this point, you know? Yeah, nah. So what album can you listen to front to back? Uh, an album front to back. No That's skips. Tough. Uh, it's a lot of them for me. Um, Snoop Dogg. Um, what Doggy Top song? Dog? Top Dog, the second one. Nah, nah. That's oh. the the fourth one. Oh, okay. That was the one with um. He just had cocaine and shit all over there. Nah, that was the last. Nah, meal. nah, nah, nah. That was the last meal. That was the one before last meal. So what's the uh, one? What's top? That was no limit. Yeah, that's no limit. That's the one that had Buckham, uh, Grace Scott just. I don't even death. remember that shit. He ran up out of bullets, so I shot him in his chest. You a real West Coast him. nigga. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Snoop, my, to... all mine is probably Snoop. Snoop Dogg, Last Meal. <laughs> Snoop, damn. Um, nah, Stillmatic. Stillmatic, I, I got a couple skips for me. Wow, you tripping? I can't remember the whole track lesson, but I, uh, I remember it was some shit you, on Stillmatic that was like, oh, I don't know, man. Because I remember uh, everybody was going so crazy for Stillmatic. I was like, man. I mean, it's still one of his best albums, though. I like the new Nas shit, to be honest, man. Yeah. I'm happy. Like, that That gave me, like, the, um, because you got to think we've been listening to Nas since we was fucking kids. So yeah, just to yeah. see this nigga at this age still being able to rap at a top level it gave me, like, I'm like, yeah, hey, I can dope. still do that it's shit. Dope. Like, you it's know. Dope. Or even seeing like how Killer Mike won the Grammy this year or some shit like oh, that. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Man, that was fucking Congrats crazy, to man. Killer Mike, man. <laughs> he had motherfuckers hot. That... Why motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> like that's a crazy. They didn't want Killer Mike to win. I mean, that's scandalous. And I feel like Killer Mike was, was around when I was in high school and no, shit. Oh yeah, know? Cats didn't like that, homie. I thought it was hilarious while Cats was like, "Why everybody so hot?" I kind of feel like I knew he was gonna win, dog, because I would feel like they wouldn't have had him in there. You know, compared yeah, to all the other yeah, albums, yeah. I was like, that's just like an easy, they got to pick that. They got to pick that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do you think he should have won? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because you got to, now, since I've been sober, now I'm, I'm, re now. I'm, um, I'm, yeah, I don't think you can say that no more. I, I, I they blank it out. They'll blank it out. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but now I'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm at that uh, sober work stage where I now I'll be listening to niggas because you know me I used to be saying some wild shit but now I'll be like man what is the message he trying to you know what I'm saying like yeah, you couldn't yeah. make all these songs and shit but then if you ain't really trying to help shit you just like so I always feel like if a person rapping with a message it kind of beats somebody that's yeah, just yeah. doing random shit and just trying to say the most fucked up shit or whatever trying to get me me personally I didn't listen to enough music uh, last year to um to say if he should have won or not. Mm -hmm. But I just know it was hilarious. I mean, it was just the Travis Scott fans. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. I just know it was hilarious. Like, people I can't was even, like, I don't so even, mad. Like, I don't even remember the Mike other won. albums that was nominated. I yeah, just yeah, knew it was yeah. them two. Yeah, I was, I was too locked in. I couldn't really. I don't really listen shit. to rap no more either like that. Yeah, it's tough. Like, uh, I mean, I think mainly, it's not that I don't listen to rap because I do listen to rap, but I think I'm more so like listening to myself more than yeah. anything. Like, um, it's just now I'm just at that phase where I just I just 
Some of that shit, I just can't listen to it no more, man. Like, this nigga talking about getting fucked up or fucking my bitch or shooting me. I'm like, man, why am I listening hey, to this shit? Some of that age? shit be banging, though. Yeah, no, I, 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 everything that come out and people talk about it, I'm going to check it out. You know what I'm saying? But it just don't stick with me. I've been listening to, like, no, I want to sure. feel happy after I listen to a song. I don't want to feel like, you know, I want some shit to make me smile. I want that new Cardi. I'm Car- sorry. Yeah. I Cardi. want that new Cardi. Did you I see this shit? It's been recently, man. I've been seeing motherfuckers talking about BBL stink. Oh, that's great. I ain't never smelled no stinking BBL, man. That shit got me kind of worried now, man. You got some pus in that motherfucker. Yeah, they said you got to do some shit. Or that motherfucker going to get, the, if you, uh, after a while of that BBL, that motherfucker going to get the banging. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, but uh, I, I ain't never smelled no BBL. They said you got to rub that motherfucker. You got to get that bitch massage and all type of shit. That shit going to uh, have yeah, some fumes uh, coming out that motherfucker. I don't know, but I seen a, a, a lady that had walked out the, because uh, I went and got some drawers and socks and shit. Yesterday at the mall and 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 saw a lady with the craziest BBL here. Nah, oh, in LA. LA and I was yeah. just like, no way you walking around with that much ass and like a hundred and ten pounds. That's look ridiculous. All right, we get ready to get up out of here. Um, let's let's spin the wheel one time. Damn, we ain't make it to the freestyle. We want to hear them niggas rap, man. Do you want to hear one? No, fuck no. All right. <laughs> We'll save him for another time. We got Q. We got fucking schoolboy Q in this motherfucker. We don't want to hear no other niggas rap. Gilps. You already know how I feel about Gilps, man. Gilps. I love me old bitch. Uh, old bitch. Yeah, man. More so than younger girls now, man. <laughs> yeah, old bitch. Is... Ain't, ain't nobody trying to deal with no younger girls. Yeah, man. they retarded. They sitting around making TikToks and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, ain't nobody no got more. time. Like... Anytime I see a nigga like old nigga my age, like he's dating like a young ass bitch and shit, I be like, yeah, you a weirdo. Nah, for sure. That's mad. That's mad creepy too. Yeah, it's like predatory. Like no way you got the twenty two, twenty three year old girl, and you like. I like old bitches, man. Cause you, yeah, I, you you know the young bitches they go too hard, man. Old bitch, them, them bitches come quick. You you, you, you fuck them five minutes, they yeah. happy with that shit. You ain't got to be sitting around slanging dick all night on the old bitch, man. They know they, they know they parts, man. They know how to make this shit happen. They don't be complaining. Young bitch, we want to go all night. I ain't got time for that shit no more. I'm sober. Bitch, I ain't no motherfucking. This ain't that. This ain't that Molly Dick. This ain't the fucking Henny Up. You know what I'm saying, bitch? You can get this <laughs> five minutes. This, this ain't the Henny Up no more. We're getting yeah, five man. minutes and we up out of this motherfucker. Yeah. All right, man. Q, man. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, brother. Dog. Thank you. Love man. you, man. So Love much you too, fucking. Bro. Um, happy to see, man. Where you at in life, man? I can Can you believe this shit, man? Come you. on, bro. Look at it, bro. Me we out you. here. We actually out here in this motherfucker. We still like. You know we're I'm doing saying? good now, but, man. No, no. Most importantly, we our glasses are clean. Yeah. Y- y'all got to stop trap. doing interviews with y'all glasses dirty because you go, I be seeing motherfuckers and they be having these shades on. They be on like all these fucking podcasts. You can see like five, seven mm-hmm. thumbprints on their glasses. So I'm proud of you for not having I mean, I, stains I try my on your best. glasses. I, usually, I got some glasses cleaner. I usually try God to. God damn, you motherfuckers is too old to be walking around with them stained glasses. Cause y'all got to stop that. Please stop it. You got some. Well, motherfuckers, y'all, y'all know, go out and get um, blue lips. You blue know lips. what I'm saying? Get the binos. The binos gone already. Yeah, them bitches gone. All right, man. Y'all got to. But yeah, definitely check out blue lips. Scoop everything Q do is fire, man. So you already know, man. TDE. Love you, brother. Love, Love you, y'all bro. niggas, man. Shouts out. Um, same time, same channel. See y'all boys. We out.